Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Kay here from At Home with Kay. And today I'm bringing to you a video that's just gonna, I'm making a, a nice little Christmas scene. It's gonna be an indoor scene, like a Christmas living room or family room. Um, and I'm gonna make it using, um, using mostly Dollar Tree products. Um, these wood pieces came from Dollar Tree. The little um, container, the tray that I have turned upside down there came from Dollar Tree. And all the little pieces that I'm going to be placing inside of this scene um, came from Dollar Tree. And if they didn't, I'll let you know. Now these wood pieces that I'm gluing here, these are going to be the walls of this family room. They're going to have two walls and then I'm going to place everything else on the platform that's there. I like to thank you all for clicking on my video today. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if this is your first time here, welcome, consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always supporting my channel and commenting and being so kind. So what I'm doing here is these little pieces that I'm showing you here, do you guys know those gingerbread um, house cutouts that you get from Dollar Tree? Some of them, the windows can come off, the doors can come off. That's what I did. I just pulled the windows and the doors off of there. And that's what I'm gonna use here. So what I'm doing now is I mix a little antique wax with some water to just get a nice little stain. And I'm gonna stain this entire piece with this, um, this, antique wax. Okay, so now that I have it all stained, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these windows and I am going to cut out a little, um, the part of the napkin. These napkins did not come from Dollar Tree. They came from Dollar General. And I'm going to glue it on the back of this window and make it look like, um, and it's going to look like when you look out the window, that's what's outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing here. And do you see that, um other windows still laying there on my cutting mat what i did was i cut it apart and i made like a fireplace mantle and the top of it i cut it into little strips to make it look like logs in the fireplace and that's what that's going to be so i'm going to glue this window on one wall and then i'm going to glue the fireplace on the opposite wall And to be honest with you guys, I started this project last month, but I couldn't make it come to life in my mind. So I just put it away and I felt really bad that I had put it away. Um, but then today I got it back out and then it just flowed and I was able to do everything that I really wanted to do back then, but I was just stuck. So that's what you have to do sometimes. You have to put it away and then maybe you bring it back out and it comes to life. So what I'm doing now is I'm just painting around the window, adding a little white paint and um, just to give it a little color and separation from the brown that's on the walls. And then we'll move on to our next step.
I'm going to use this black to paint the back of the fireplace black. So when you look at it, it'll look like inside of there is just completely black. In the end, you're going to see I'm going to put some paint some fire on those logs with a little orange paint. But I'm not going to do that until until the end. <laughs> And this is a door that I got off of one of those little Dollar Tree houses. I'm going to do the same thing as I did with uh, um, the window. I'm going to take a piece of the napkin so when you look out the door, it'll look like you're looking at this beautiful red barn and this nice woodsy fence with all the snow around it. And just like the window, I'm going to add a little white paint around the door to make it stand out from the wall. I'm also, I hope I show this, I, I'm also going to put a Christmas tree in the corner. And I'm going to use um, that Christmas tree on that napkin. I'm just going to place it on, glue it on top of this little wooden Christmas tree. And I'm going to put that in the corner. And no, I guess I didn't record myself doing the Christmas tree. I'm sorry, but you guys will see it um, coming up shortly. So what I decided to do, I meant to buy a little, like in the Barbie section at Dollar Tree, a little sofa, but I forgot. So what do you do? You just have to make one. <laughs> so I got this cardboard and I'm just gonna cut out some little pieces and try to make a shape of a sofa and glue it together. And then um, hopefully um, it will be correct, you know, because sizing and everything. But I'm going to do the best that I can and we'll see how it turns out. And what I did was I cut out some bottom pieces. They're about two inches long. And I did three of those because I'm going to stack them up to get the thickness. Then I cut out about some one inch um, for the arms of the sofa. And I cut two pieces of that for the thickness. And then I cut out another piece for the back that's a little bit longer. It's about three inches or two and a half because the back is going to be longer because this the arms are going to be attached to that and then i'm just going to glue everything together
one day I want to read have a, a dollhouse that I'm doing so this is just gonna be the start of me learning how to make furniture because I want to make all the furniture that goes in it so this is a start <laughs> And now I have the sponge to make the cushion for the sofa. What I'm gonna do is, and it's so shallow, I actually could have got away without doing it, but you know, I just wanted to see if I could make this work. So I cut the sponge in half, no, in a quarter, in a quarter of it. And then I cut that little quarter piece in half. And then I'm gonna cut it down to fit the base of the cow of the sofa, and then I'm going to just hot glue it in there and then we'll cover it. I did the back of it and the seat of it so it would have like cushion on it. And there it is, so far so good. Okay, so this is just one of those table runners from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna cut the pieces so that they fit along the, you know, I just measured out the width of it. And then I'm just gonna hot glue it all the way around. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm, this is trial and error. I'm just trying to see if this will work. I'm just gonna cut it down and, and start hot gluing it all the way around and just folding in spots that are too long or too, sh or too short. And one other thing, since I'm using that light fabric, I should have used the yellow sponge instead of the pink one because you're gonna slightly be able to see it through the fabric, but this is all for, you know, for pretend, so it's okay. And here I'm just continuing on hot gluing and tucking, folding, snipping off ends that are frayed or sticking out. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. Just follow this little process with me. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna finish this up and, and we're gonna move on to our next step. So here, um, I decided to make a little valance for the window. So I cut a piece of this skewer off and then I cut another little piece of the fabric and I'm just gonna fold it over and I made it double the length of that little piece of skewer that I cut so it would be completely gathered when I um, put it on there. And then I'm gonna glue some, I was hoping to glue some beads on the end but I just used some little pearls that I had just right there on the table so I didn't have to keep getting up um, onto the end to hold it in place and then I'm gonna hot glue it over the window. So now I'm just adding a little hot glue and I'm just putting it over the window. 
so it'll be like a little curtain balance over the window that's going to make it look so warm and so cozy <laughs> And now this little chimney came out of a package of um, wood wood cutouts. I think these are from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, these this isn't from Dollar Tree, but I'm just gonna paint it red and put some little um, snow on top, and then I'm gonna glue it to the top just above the um, fireplace. And when we finish this up, um, I'm gonna glue it on top of the fireplace and we'll see it at the end of the video. And here we are at the end of the video. This is our cute little Christmas scene. And I glued that season's greeting sign. I got it in a pack at the Dollar Tree. I think it was three of them for $1.25. I just hot glued that on the front just to give it some more flair. And I made a wreath out of, a wreath out of the, that, um, the stuff you get from Dollar Tree. You, you guys know what it is. And it comes in a pack. And there's the Christmas tree in the corner. And I just made some little gifts out of those wood blocks that you get from Dollar Tree. And I painted them and tied some um, jute cord on there. And it's just a cozy little winter scene inside the house and there's the snow that i put on the fireplace and my sister had given me a bunch of little miniature items one day and it had those little books in there so i just sat that book i don't the size of it is a little bit too big for the scale of the couch but i just thought it was so cute to put that little book there to make it look like someone was sitting on the couch with that cozy pillow and that cozy little rug reading a book <laughs> So that's this, this cute little scene that we made here. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, um, please share it and give it a like. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I also put the fire in the fireplace. You see that there to add that other more little cozy feel. Thanks for watching friends and remember when you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine.